Hello friends, welcome to Physics with Ben. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video to those that need it. Um, I just want to use uh, this medium to give us some very very important information as we plan to write external examinations. This information is not just for this year's um, exams, it is for all time exams. So I will beg if you will help me share this information. It's very important. Um, today I will be sharing some very, very important information on physics theory. Paper 2. As a student preparing to write exams, you need the right information. You need guidance or else you just waste your energy for nothing. Uh, sorry for the network interruption. I did the research for over more than 15 years to discover something about the wired exams and I discovered it and today I want to share that with us. So physics has five main branches. We have mechanics, we have electricity and magnetism, we have optics slash waves we have thermodynamics or heat energy and then we have quanta and atomic level i mean quanta and atomic theory so at the secondary school level these are the branches the main branches of physics that we have and so the exams are structured around this so i am going to discuss the theory Part of your exams right now. The physics 2 theory is structured into two parts, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 has seven questions in recent times. We have seven questions for you, the candidate to answer five. Each question carries three marks. Part two sometimes have four or five questions, but you have to answer just three questions from part two, and each of them carries 45 mark. Good. What are you to expect in part one of the physics exams? For my research, I discovered that in part one, mechanics dominates the whole questions. You expect questions from mechanics in part one. Questions under Hooke's law, elastic properties of matter. They keep coming almost every year. Questions under Hooke's law. Questions under projectile motion. Questions uh, from motion under gravity. Questions from linear motion or circular motion. Questions from friction. You also see questions from fiber optics. What is fiber optics? You see questions. You will see questions from from fiber optics. You see questions from laser. You see questions from basic electronics. That is semiconductors. Good. You also see some very few questions from radioactivity and also some questions from from uh, quanta I'm sorry from some questions from uh, energy quantization but the majority of the questions that dominate part one are questions from mechanics the ones I just mentioned and then uh, also some of them from from theory then part two what do you expect in part two? You 
Part two, question number eight is always map mix. How is this question number eight set? They may bring a question from Newton's law of universal gravitation. They will also bring a question maybe from circular motion and joined to it, a question from linear motion and joined to it, a question from distance time graph, velocity time graph and joined to it. Uh, then form just one question number eight. You answer it, you get 15 mark. Uh, in recent time, I also discovered that question number nine is from heat energy, thermodynamics. How is this question set? They may bring a question from, from modes of heat transfer. They may bring a question from expansion. Linear expansivity, volume expansivity, cubic expansivity. They may bring a question from measurement of temperature, thermometers, fundamental interval, etc. They may bring a question from specific heat capacity, latent heat, a question from relative humidity, and then combine all of these things and form as one question number nine. Question number 10. Question number 10 is always optics, I mean the waves in recent times. Sometimes they may change it, but it is waves or optics. They will bring a question from, from, uh, from concave mirror, a question from my convex lens, a question from the refraction of light, reflection of light, they may bring a question from progressive wave, all those calculations, and then form it as question number 10. So just grab waves and study it and then prepare to answer just one question in your part two. Question number 11. Question number 11, electricity and magnetism. They may bring a question, combine questions from Conduction of, of, of electricity through solid, that is Hooke's law, I mean Ohm's law, electrostatic induction. They bring a question They may bring a question from simple AC circuits, the capacitance of the capacitor, the capacitive reactance, all of that. I have videos on all of this and form it as question number 11. And then lastly, number 12. Quanta and atomic theory is a question for number 12. Here you expect questions from radioactivity, energy quantization, uh, questions from, from wave particle paradox. They form this particular question. So you see, it is very, very easy for you to pass your YEC exam and get your A. So as a student, you can now budget your reading around these areas. You prepare to answer questions in part two, just three questions. You prepare for the topic that you love most. And then from part one, you prepare for five questions, topics that you love most, you prepare for them. But you just have to prepare all around because the topic that you feel that you love most, they may bring a question there that you may not be able to solve. With this, you, are, you have conditioned your mind and you will not be confused in your exams and you know what to write. I wish you guys success. Share this video and also drop your comments in the comment box. Thank you and God bless you. When this I meet, we shall look at areas of concentration from, for OBJ and practicals. Bye-bye. God bless you.